Good day everyone! Today I will be reporting about a study entitled Landslide Susceptibility Mapping Using GIS and FR Method along Cagayan de Oro, Bukidnon, Davao City Root Corridor, Philippines. This study was conducted on 2016 by Opiso et al. The introduction. Landslides along highways in Mindanao including the Cagayan de Oro, Bukidnon, Davao City Highway pose high risk to many motorists and passengers. This root corridor plays a vital role in people mobility and commerce and trade between the two major economic centers in Mindanao. Due to lack of LSI map that could significantly hamper the timeliness of various mitigating projects of the PWH and the disaster risk reduction and management program of the LGUs. The landslide hazards map for the entire country generated by the Mines and Geosciences Bureau is only based on the slope and not site-specific based on the various factors that would potentially contribute to rainfall-induced landslides. Moving on to the objectives of the study. The study aimed to generate a rainfall-induced landslide susceptibility index map along the CDO, Bukid Nun, Davao City Highway by using GIS and frequency ratio approach considering rainfall, soil, geology, land cover, slope, and elevation characteristics of the study area. The study also aimed to evaluate the casual factors of rainfall-induced landslide along the study area using GIS and FR approach. Next are the methods and materials of the study. The study was conducted along the Sire National Highway that connects the two major cities in Mindanao, namely the Cagayan de Oro and Davao City. The global positioning system was used to determine the coordinates of 78 landslide locations recorded. Next is the map layers of the different parameters with FR values were overlaid to produce the rainfall-induced landslide susceptibility index map. The generated LSI map was classified into low, moderately low, moderately high, and high risk. The polygon of the buffer zone was used to extract smaller thematic map layers for area size computation of the respective factors. The digital elevation model from the rectified contour map was used to generate the elevation and slope of the size. The map algebra tool of GIS was used to convert the frequency ratio values into grid data format prior to overlay operations. Next is the receiver operation characteristics curve analysis was used to test the accuracy of the developed LSI model based on the probability of landslide occurrence and non-occurrence within the area of each parameter class. And lastly, the frequency ratio of each landslide inducing factor will then be used to determine the landslide susceptibility index, which is the sum of all landslide inducing factors. The higher the LSI value indicates higher failure of the specified area. Moving on to the results and discussion of the study. Results showed that rainfall coupled with soil type and slopes were the main triggering parameters of based on their corresponding FR values. Majority of high-risk areas for rainfall-induced landslides were located along the southern portion belonging to Davao City and Kitautau and Arakan municipalities. And for the last part, the conclusions and recommendation of the study. Validating using receiver operator characteristic revealed that a model accuracy rate of 76.4% at 0.05 level. Hence, the LSI map generated can be a useful input in planning out projects for road repairs and maintenance along landslide-prone areas so that cost disturbances and exposure to such hazards may be minimized. For future researchers, it is recommended to make a susceptibility map for other areas as well that suffers from landslide. So thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you.